Uh, John, the uh, next sort of part and final part of the drama is on Sunday. Yeah. Um, France, Croatia. Um, the the French the French game. Uh, I, again, I fancied Belgium, but at halftime I jumped ship because I thought um, that Liam was right. The French midfield, in particular, I, were getting a grip on the game, and at halftime I, I, I switched. France is going to win this game. How do you see Sunday going? And uh, let me just ask you first about France because they didn't play. They played Denmark and they laboured. Uh, they haven't been scintillating, but they they have got if to li- meet Liam's criteria of special players they have one or two very good players that played very well Matuidi uh, in particular and Bappi with the potential um, and Griezmann Griezmann there he goes very around, special yeah. uh, they have also Varane at the back who I think has had a great tournament uh, John what do you make of it, of them well I I, I I think they've done well Eamon can I just mention Belgium for a second yeah absolutely All right, and, and Martinez yeah. I think Martinez, Martinez, sorry, made two bad decisions. He played the the, the match in the in the the previous match, I mean, where he left Brazil up front, which yeah. is totally wrong. Well, I think he made as big a mistake, not the same mistake, but he made his biggest mistake, uh, as big a mistake in the next match. De Bruyne, as we know, has been the best midfield player in the Premiership last season in yeah. the position he played. Yeah. Right. He didn't play him in that position. No, he didn't. Game. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Why? How can you? If you I mean, the best tactic in any team is pick your best players in the best position. And it was absolutely, um, well, it's nothing to do with me, but I found it outrageous that he has Fellaini, Dembele, and the other lad in midfield. Where was De Bruyne yeah. playing? Vitzel this is the, the most influential yeah. player in the Premiership in his position all last season. Yeah. Anyway, 